And what is up, YouTube? It's Mac Tutorials 14 here, and we're actually finally back with a new, a new tutorial. Um, and uh, let me just say, um, this is probably one of my last ideas for a tutorial for a while. If I make, if I have, if I have an abrupt idea that is pretty good, um, that I think will get a lot of views, and I think you guys will like it, and you know, be able to use a lot, I will make more. But for right now, I think I'm pretty much done, unless I, you know, figure out something again, like I just said. So for this video, as you can see by the title, we're actually going to show you guys how to actually like lock folders. Um, so this is useful for, um, you know, files that for security reasons. Um, if you don't want somebody getting hold of a file, all you have to do is do these steps, and this will help you, you know, be able to do that. So, because I really don't have any files, um, here, let me just move that. Because I don't really have any files, what we're going to do here is I'm going to make a few, so I'll just go like that. I'll just go like that. Let's do that. And then one more, and we'll do that. Okay, so what we're going to do here, um, you're, you can name this folder whatever you want. I'm just going to, you need to make a new folder though. I'm just going to name it test for the purpose of this video. Um, and so what you want to do, the, um, the files that you want to lock up, all you're going to do is you're just going to select them. Um, you can drag them, you can drag them in the folder one by one, but I feel what's the, me what's the best, what's the most proactive way is probably, um, holding down the shift button and then, um, getting, pulling, uh, you know, you know, moving down the arrow so you can, you know, shift click them all. So I only have three pictures here. So all I'm going to do is do that and then say, um, here, okay, so here it is. Um, so you're going to be thinking, well, David, this is just a normal folder. I want, you know, my files locked. So here's what you're going to have to do. So you can go in utilities or whatever you want. Um, it is in you to the application is in utilities, but you can access it through, um, Spotlight or through, um, what's that other one called? I forget, but it's not default on there. So if you don't want to go into applications and then go into utilities, just search under Spotlight um, and search for this utility. Search, you're just going to want to pick Disk Utility. So again, you can go into Spotlight and search Disk Utility and it will show up, but just for the purpose of this video, I've done that. So all we're going to want to do here, you can see, um, all we're going to do is there's this little window. We're going to hit File, New. Uh, we're going we're gonna to hit File, New, and then Disk Image from Folder. So what that does is now it brings up this uh, little screen right here, and it's saying, it's basically saying, so now you select your folder. So we're going to select our test folder, and we're going to hit Image. And now it's going to say um, that. So we're going to say Save as Test.DMG. So now it's going to ask where do you want to save it. So you can save it anywhere you want, but for this purpose, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to just save it to the desktop. So now all you want to do is change image format to read and write. You want to make sure it's read and write for the purpose of this video because if you want to, well, for the purpose of probably what you're going to want to do. Um, if you just want to, if you don't want to make any changes to it, it's fine um, to just make it read only. Um, but if you want to make changes to it, um, I would suggest read and write. Um, and encryption, you're going to want to do 128-bit. Um, so we are going to just save that right now, and it's going to create, as you can see. So it says, enter a new password to secure test.dmg. If you forget this password, you will not be able to access the file stored on this image. Forgotten passwords cannot be retrieved. So let's say we want to put in math tutorials. I'll just put in math tutorials. M-A-C-T-U-T-O-R-A-L-S. M-A-C-T-U-T-O-R. Okay, so now what it's going to want to do is what you have to do because it'll basically, I mean, you could check this, but this is, this is what's going to happen if you do this. If you hit remember password and keychain, and keychain it's going to create it, and you'll see everything works up, works fine, but instead of this one where it will say enter the password, that was another one that I did. Um, now, it'll just automatically open it right up, which is not what you want, because if you want it to be secure, that basically defeats the purpose, because if you want it to be, sorry, if you want it to be secure, then you have to do that. So here's what we're going to do here. Um, I'm going to get to where we were before, and I'll be right back, guys. So I'll be right back. 
so I'm back and as you can see I showed you what happens if you actually instead of um, instead of just doing you know following the steps you just do um, you just hit OK after that what's gonna happen so what you wanna do make sure you do this um, because if you don't do this then it sorta of defeats the purpose of this so all you're gonna do is you're just gonna uncheck um, remember password in my keychain basically what that does remember password and keychain it automatically by default Mac OS X already like memorizes and automatically you know puts in your password um, so that is not what we want if you want a secure um, folder so all we're gonna do here we go guys as you can see it says test.dmg so all I'm gonna do now is double click and it'll say enter to enter password to access um, so we're going to enter it as you can see there it is and here are my screenshots that I took um, and you can see all those um, so yeah um, that's all you really have to do. Um, after you did that, um, you can delete the folder that you made. Um, you're not going to be needing that anymore. You need to, if you want to do this, you need to keep in mind, keep in mind, guys. You need to still have where it says the .dmg. That's why I put that there, so you guys remember it. Because a lot of those um, disk image, um, you know, icons are named .dmg. So for me to remember it, I put .dmg at the end of it. That's just for me. If you guys want to put anything else, you can. But uh, let me know if this was a helpful video in the comment area below. Of course, you can delete the folder when you're done. As you can see, and as you can see, you can still go into it as I've just done. Um, but keep in mind, guys, it's gonna look like a .dmg, not an actual folder. Um, so th this is the closest you'll ever be able to get, unfortunately. Um, it's still good. Um, you know, for for my security, it, it's fine. Um, I don't really, you know, do anything. It was just to really test it out. I don't really have to keep any files secure. Um, but anyway, guys, if you, if you need to, that's a good, a little good trick on, um, Mac OS X. Uh, let me know in the comment area below. I'm interested to see if you thought this was a good video. Please, it takes only a few seconds. Please give this video a like and comment down below. I want to see what you guys think of this new tutorial. Um, you know, I, I just thought of this video a few, uh, few minutes ago. Um, and I really am trying to give you guys more tutorials. Um, but unfortunately my schedule, and I will update on this on you, I will update you on this as I've done, um, as I've said in a few other videos, um, September 3rd starts school for me. So unfortunately, while I would like to make videos really, really recent, I may not be able to do it as much. Um, the first week I only have school two days, which is a little stupid. So um, basically, it's basically school for me for two days, and then it's the weekend, really. So you know, I'm still gonna be updating a lot of updating a lot of my channel, uploading a lot more content. Um, so expect the city of tweaks video. No, I'll keep saying that the list I am actually making right here. If you can see that, I am actually starting to make that list. So that is a good sign for those of my um, longtime subscribers that remember, you know, when I had said that I was going to do a video, and unfortunately it just never happened. So now you can look forward to that. I'm going to do that soon. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment area below what you thought of this video. I'm curious to know. But anyway, guys, that is it for this video. This is David from Math Tutorials 14.